Welcome everybody. Today we're going to start talking about tangents. Well, if you don't know what a tangent is, uh, first I would suggest going on the website and looking through the definitions, the vocabulary. It'll give you a good idea of what a tangent is, but if you look right here, I've also explained that a tangent is a line that intersects a circle at exactly one point. So what you notice here is that my line right here is intersecting the circle at exactly one point. That makes this line a tangent. Uh, a way that I like to think of it too is kind of like a wheel on a road. A wheel only touches the road at exactly one point. So that would be, the road would be tangent to the wheel itself. Now something that's pretty neat about tangents that we're going to be using quite a bit of is the fact that the radius and the tangent are perpendicular. And what that means is they create a 90 degree angle. That's going to be super useful because a lot of these problems are going to be asking us to determine if we have a tangent or they're going to be asking us for a length of something. And what we can then do is if we imagine that we have another line drawn, you can see that we have a right triangle, which means we can use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so a lot of these problems are going to be involving Pythagorean theorem. And if they're not using Pythagorean theorem, we're going to be using trig because, again, you should notice a right triangle. Okay, so that's pretty important having to do with tangents. So let's look at the first couple of problems. The first problem asks us to determine if line QR is tangent to the circle. So here's QR. They give us some lengths. Okay, and we're trying to figure out if it's tangent or not. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to assume right now that it is. Okay, and we're going to make that perpendicular. So we've got a 90 degree angle. Then what we're going to do is from that 90, we're going to decide which one of the sides is the hypotenuse or the C value for our Pythagorean theorem. Well, this entire length right here would be the C value, that's the hypotenuse. <coughs> they only tell me about this piece right here, which is worth 4. So what am I supposed to do about this piece right here? Well, if you notice, they gave us a radius over here as 6, and seeing as these are both radii, that means the length right here is also 6, and our entire length of that segment is 10 units long. And that's our C value. So I'm going to put C just so that I remember. And it does not matter which one of these two is A and B. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be testing. Is 6 squared plus 7 squared equal to 10 squared? If that's true, then this line is tangent. If this is false, we do not have a tangent line. So let's check. 36 plus 49 does that equal 100? It's not looking too good right here. Let's see. 36 plus 49 is going to give me 85, which is definitely not equal to 100. Okay, so what we just found here is that this line is not tangent. So we can say no. Okay, and we did that by checking to see if the Pythagorean theorem was true. So this really is not a 90 degree angle either. Okay, here's a new one that you can try on your own if you'd like to. Pause the video and check up on it when you are done to see how you did. Alright, well, let's check this one out. Oops, let's make sure that the directions are on screen. So, there talking about line LM, so what we're going to do again is assume that that's a 90 degree angle. That makes this side over here our C value. So I'm going to put C. I'm going to assign A and B to the remaining two sides. And then we're going to check. We want to test 5 squared plus 12 squared is that equal to 13 squared. 25 plus 144 is equal to 169. If we add 
5 and 4 gives me 9, 2 and 4 gives me 6. Now we notice that they match. That means the Pythagorean theorem worked, which makes that a right angle, making this line tangent. So we would say yes. Hopefully you got that one. Alright, let's try something a little bit different this time. Okay, this next problem is asking us to find the length of a specific side, right? They ask us to find the length of RT. RT is right here. Now, they've given us the fact that QR is tangent, and they've noticed that they put the perpendicular 90 degree marker here for us, right? So we're trying to figure out the length of RT. Now, luckily, if you remember, we had just said that we can use Pythagorean theorem. Instead of checking this, though, we're going to be using Pythagorean theorem to solve. So I'm trying to figure out this value, which also happens to be my hypotenuse, right? It's across from the right angle. So that's my C value. I'll assign A and B to the others, and then we'll solve just like we normally would with Pythagorean theorem. Just notice how the instructions ask you to round to the nearest hundredth. Make sure that you do that. Uh, rounding has been a problem in the past uh, on quizzes and tests, so let's make sure that we work on that. Okay, so we have 7 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared. Okay, so that's going to give us 49 plus 144. If we add 49 and 144, we get 193. Notice I have a square term. We're going to have to take the square root to get rid of that. And we need to check the square root of 193 is 13.892. They ask us to round to the nearest hundredth. So this 2 tells my 9 to stay how it is. 13.89 is the length of RT. Okay? Easy enough to do. So I would like for you to check out this next problem. You can try it on your own if you would like. Again, just pause the video and try it out. We'll review it in a moment. All right, let's see how you did. It's asking us now to find the length of OL. OL is this piece right here. So let's put down an X. Now, they tell us that LM is tangent. That means that our 90 degree angle points out our C value for us. That makes these two sides A and B. Okay, that's not a problem. We've got x squared plus 13 squared equals 15 squared. Can't do anything with that x yet. 13 squared is 169. 15 squared is 225. Let's subtract away 169 from both sides. So you've got, let's see. 225 minus 169 is 56. Pick the square root. That gives us 7.483. Again, this 3 tells the 8 to stay the same. So here we were looking for a line segment OL. It's going to be 7.48. How'd you do with that one? Hopefully you got the correct answer. All right. Last problem that we're going to look at. Last type of problem. This problem tells us, again, that we have a tangent, AB, and that they're asking us to find the length of AB. But 
now you notice that the picture that they give us, they only give us one side length here. And they give us an angle measure. Well, remember what I had told you, we have a tangent, so we know that this is going to be worth 90 here. And if Pythagorean theorem doesn't work, we can always use trig. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a theta marker at our angle, like we normally would. And then we're going to check the sides that they, they're asking for A, B. We'll put an X. That happens to be the adjacent side. The side they gave us, 17, happens to be the hypotenuse. So now I just have to think. So Katoa, which one uses A and H? Cosine. Cosine uses A and H. So I'm using cosine of a 58 degree angle. Right? They gave me 58. That's equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And now I solve for X. So all I need to do here is multiply by 17 on both sides, and then I would want to check. I need to do, let's see, cosine of 58. Let's make sure that we're in the right mode here. That is crucial. If you're using Google Calculator, which is fine to do on Google for these types of problems, make sure that you have it set to degree mode. We want 17 times cosine 58. That gives us 9.008. Well, this 8 tells that 0 to move up to a 1. So our final answer, the length of AB equals 9.01 units. Okay, so there's one more problem for us to try. Okay, try this one out on your own and resume the video when you're ready to check. Alright, let's test this one out. So, here is our angle. We're going to put theta right at the angle. Then we're going to label. They're asking us to find xy. xy is over here. That happens to be my opposite side. They gave me this happens to be the adjacent side so I gotta think alright I wanna be using O and A that means I'm using tangent tangent of 31 degrees equals opposite over I, let's see that's adjacent which is 21 so I got X over 21 this one's pretty easy too I just need to multiply by 21 on both sides and then I would type that into my calculator I want to be doing 21 times tangent of 31 degrees, and that gives me 12.61, which is going to round Let's see, we're looking for x, y. So 12.618, oh, that's 8, tells that 6, 1 to round up to 6, 2. Okay. How'd you do with those? Hopefully you did pretty well. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask, leave them on the uh, website or bring them into class and we'll answer them as fast as we can for you. All right, see you next time.